In this problem, a car is traveling to the right at 23.6 meters per second, collides with a wall, comes to a stop. What is the average force exerted on the wall? So there's a change in momentum here. This car is moving and now it's coming to a complete stop. Well, change in momentum or impulse is equal to the force times the change in time. Force times time is the definition of impulse. Impulse means change in momentum. We wanna solve for this force. So if we want the force, it's gonna be the change in momentum divided by the time it took that change to occur. And so we have a mass, 1700 kilogram car. Its final velocity was zero because it came to rest right here. It had an initial velocity of 23.6 meters per second. All of that happened in 0.15 seconds. So 1,700 times a negative 23.6 divided by 0.15. And so this force, this is a force of negative 267,000 rounding there, rounding down. We get a negative 267,000 newtons. The question asks, what is the force the car exerts onto the wall? So if we're saying that the car is moving here with an initial speed of positive 23.6, then when the car hits the wall, that force will be positive as well. What we really saw for here was the force that the wall exerted on the car in order to stop it. So Newton's third law says these are gonna be equal but opposite forces, except the wall exerted the negative force, the car going in the positive direction exerts a positive force. 